um, for example, this, this is uh, the main window in loop uh, that is our uh, programming environment when, where we can see some objects listed there, so it's in Spanish. And we are browsing Sakira, who has a white variable and two handles, there is a source code. And as I was saying before, uh, before we can also see uh, an object diagram showing the, st the current state of this lesson. So it's clear here um, what is an object and what is a reference or a variable. Uh, we can see that an object is nameless, so the student don't confuse the object and the variable as the object has a name. Uh, a lot of variables could point at the same object. Um, uh, well, the, the object diagrams also helps to identify objects that are not pointed by anybody uh, and they are candidates for garbage collection. So uh, if you can see there what it says, Pavelera, <laughs> it's like garbage pen. When an object, <laughs> when, uh, when nobody points an object, it's, uh, it's put in the garbage pen. So the student can go and say, okay, garbage collect now. And it's a way that to, to help understanding garbage collection and not wanting to dispose or delete objects like they would do in Pascal. Um, well, uh, the thing is, uh, with these two, they program objects directly and they put the behavior directly in the object, but Sometimes at the schedule we have to really teach class-based oriented programming. Uh, so how do you do that? Okay. <laughs> it's so arranged. And and okay. And we start with a protocol-based system. Um, our objective is to in the second half of the course uh, use motor. Um, this is only an example with two objects. One, uh, can you use this? This object and this object. And each of one has one variable. Um, oh, wait a minute. We have this object and this other object. Can't see that at all. Don't point to the screen. <laughs> <laughs> well, and there are two really big balls in the upper space. <laughs> That's the <a big> object. <laughs> okay, now, um, we create, uh, the students need to create one object first. For example, uh, Safira, and then he needs to create a method, and that method will be in that object. And later, in this uh, exercise needs to create another uh, object that has the same behavior. And that object needs to be a prototype of the other one. Okay? But the first one is the prototype. Yes, 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 sorry. The first one is the prototype. This one is the prototype of this object. Okay? And well, we need to change this uh, product based uh, approach to a class based approach. And uh, it's really common that the student itself uh, needs that concept because there, this, this exercise can grow and he needs to share behavior and um, the introduction to classes is really smooth. Um, if this is working... Smooth. <laughs> smooth. Um, when we introduce the concept of class, the only thing we need to say is that the methods and the definition of the variables are in the class, and the objects are inside of that class. Um, the code, for example, in here, when we change from the prototype-based system to the class-based system, is really the same, okay? The only thing that changed is the location of the methods and the definition of the variable. Um, uh, we think that this is uh, uh, with this we can use polymorphism really early in the course. We, and the students 
doesn't uh, mix up with the concept of class and inheritance. Okay, um, we had some numbers. And we start using. The but these are not our numbers. Yes, but for another, <laughs> from another professor. Yes, this is not our number, but are uh, from the same course with uh, another teacher. Um, I don't know what happened in 2009, but <laughs> if you see uh, uh, <laughs> the progression, yes, the progression uh, using this uh, this methodology and this and this environment really gets that. Yeah, just one more that. So, what is Q1, Q2? Ah, okay, oh, quarter. Semesters. It's uh, like semester. Okay, and what is pass? Right. Uh, the people that uh, are. Uh, approve the exam. Yes, approve the exam and pass the group. Okay, yeah. Uh, I mean, me and my experience to have two groups. One that is the formal, that is the traditional way of learning, and one that yes, is yes, yes. the same And the same question here. Yeah. Yeah. Really that. We, we, don't, we don't have the numbers, we have this, yeah. I know what you, you want a comparison between, but what we really did is to, we, did, we do not the same questions as you, we do more complicated questions, because we have more time to do more complicated exercises, because just for, in the second class we introduce polymorphism, and then we can do more complicated exercises for the whole semester, and not introducing that, perhaps half of the semester, we, we really uh, have increased our, our levels of uh, the, the numbers you're seeing actually show uh, the last semester uh, was the course, and the course using the new tool we built. Before that, we used the same methodology, but we didn't have the tool to use uh, collections and objects and polymorphism right away. Uh, so that's why Nicolas was saying that the student gets to practice much earlier. Uh, so he, he has more experience uh, at the time of the exam. We have some of this, and uh, like for conclusion, we we have more time to the concepts that we think are, are important. Uh, we can go to complex exercise. Uh, and one of the focus of this is we think uh, that uh, for teaching, start from, from from the concrete to the abstract is the is the right way to to teach object in the world. Well, that's all. I think. Um, if you want to Ah, yes, please. If you want to give it a try, uh, those are the links. Uh, in the first link, you, you can find how to install the software, and, and there's uh, all the documentation, and what the other things are for. The name of your browser is, is a legacy thing. Okay, thank you. class-based approach, you have to, when you want to create an object, you send new to a class. What are you doing? You didn't see an example. What, well, what happens in the prototype? And I will not go in a demo mode, but uh, you know, uh, you see that there is one of the three uh, objects that is uh, selected. Well, right up, you need to go and, and do right-click right -click new object. But they ask you for the name of the variable. So that means that the students in the lessons are always doing applications where there's a fixed number of objects. Mm, no, they, they can create yeah. as many yeah. objects. Yeah. 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 The first examples have always fixed number of, of objects. Okay. Because if they want to create them dynamically, they can't do it interactively. They can't do it from code. Mm. No. Yes, okay. there, we have we have some way. Because this is a prototype-based the base okay. approach, we can send clone, for example, and we can create another option. Okay, fair enough. That's a question. So, if I'm going to use this, is it available? Is this 
Is your teaching environment available if I wanted to use it? Yes, 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 yes. yes. We, we have to translate into English because we made it only in Spanish. Mm -hmm. But it will be available in English soon. <laughs> Okay. You, you write down the, the, the links and you can jump up. Great. Or we can talk later. <laughs>